I'm really interested the way that the way the Christian behaves in this place. You know, Christianity is out of the way of track and the way that normally Christ comes to bring forth. It's, it's empty, people that live individually, they don't, they don't have the knowledge true love of Christ. And we have, if we stand for Christ, we need to make sure we represent him with his love and the kindness and the care. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean that we accept that which Christ. is false? I've been standing for about for Christ for over 25 years, okay. as you do, as you preaching so, the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is a message. What is it? And the message is Christ himself. Yeah, so, so what, tell me the gospel. Listen, listen, you know the gospel. No, no, I want you, you to know, tell me. You know, you've been standing for many years. No, no, tell me. I, I want to make sure you know but it. But many people don't know himself, the gospel. Because they are not applying the message. Christianity is not about ourselves. It's about Christ. So tell me what it means to love someone. To love someone, you can give anything that you have. It's not about money. You can so, give your love. You can give your if, time. if we love a person, do we accept them for who they are? Of course, we have to. So if they're LGBTQ, do we accept them? Well, it's, um, I'm not there to talk about. LGBTQ. If they're Roman Catholic, do we accept them? Well, we are is that loving? We are is that God. loving? What Christ says. See, that's the thing. You lot are deceived down here. You lot are deceived down here with this false unity and this not, false peace. Know, I'm not, I'm it's not, not loving right. to accept that which is false. It's not I'm loving not to have somebody. LGBT, you're talking it's, about LGBT. It's not. Wait, trust me. Jesus, Jesus said. said what they do? No. Jesus said. I'm not, not going to condemn he, them. Well, Jesus said he came not to bring peace. He came to bring a sword. That's and when you love said. them, you got to tell them the truth. What? The Bible says if you lie to them, you hate them because they're in the book of Proverbs. So there's no unity with that which is darkness. It tells you come out from among them, touch not that which is unclean, and I will be your I will be your father and you will be my people. It says that in the book of Corinthians. And you know what? They, they're down here with this false peace. It's the Antichrist who brings peace. Catholics and Christians joining together for the sake of fighting against Israel because they're trying to take over Christianity. They can't take over Christianity. They fight against the themselves. No, Catholics are not Christians. And they might, Islam might take over Roman Catholicism because it's a false religion. But he can't take over God's false church, which is his people. So we don't need to be afraid of Islam. We need to be afraid that these people, if they stay deceived, are going to burn in hell. We need to be afraid that not only will Muslims go there, but so will Catholics. And the only way we can help these people is not to join hands with that which is false, but to preach the true gospel of salvation. See, this is the thing. Down here, you lot seek glory from one another, but you do not seek it from the only true living God. I am appalled at what is going on down here. I am. The question I'm asked, do we die already and experience of death and know for sure there's hell? No, we, we died when heaven. we come to true saving faith in Jesus, and you should know this, we died to our sin so that we can live for God. It is a work of God. So That's what it means to me. When I believed in Jesus, I died to my old self. I was made alive in Christ. And now the life that I live, I live by faith in the Son so of God. I am a new preacher. And so, but I now preach the true gospel. Not just to Muslims, to but to Catholics, and to any other false religious denomination that is the same. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I, I am upset, actually. Because I'm upset with what's going on down here. But it doesn't mean I'm upset with you. Uh, Alright? So, I'm upset with what is going on. But I'm not upset with you. I see what you're doing.
I'm not upset with you. So I'm upset with this. I'm not this. you to keep doing, but... Yeah, and if you do know the gospel, if you do know, know Jesus, the then you've got to tell Muslims and Catholics, and you've got to do it openly and publicly, but because so that they will be saved. We can't tell them but condemn them. But we don't condemn them. We tell them the truth so that they might be saved. Jesus said whoever doesn't believe in him is condemned already. If they're believing in a false Jesus and a false gospel, they're not they're already condemned so i don't need to condemn them because they're already condemned but i'm praying that they will come out from a, uh from you know that the fact that they will come out from the condemnation and be saved that's my prayer okay all right